Hi all, I just thought I'd uh, uh, attempt another exercise today. We'll take a little bit more time with it and probably break it up into a few videos to see how we go. So let's just pop that up there to start with. Kick it off. Okay, what we're going to attempt to do today is we're going to just do some very simple basic modelling in Rhino 4 and we're going to look at this little webcam device here. We're not going to model it to any, any great extent, but just to illustrate the basic tools, and then we can use that model as an underlay in order to produce concept sketches in design. So the first step that we need to do in any uh, 3D modelling job is we have to do some construction lines first. They're the preliminary lines which allow us to get the job going. Well, I've set up a couple of layers. You'll see Webcam C is the one that I'm working on. I've established a construction layer, and we click on and you see the tick moves down and that, that is now the active layer. So anything that we do is now on that layer. So we're going to establish a datum point. And we'll just click snap on. That means it's going to snap to the various points of the grid. You can see it just clicking through there. So our point of origin, you can see our point there. And now we're going to create a series of radius circles. There we go. So the first one will be the overall body of the lens, and I'm suggesting that that's probably uh, radius 35. I've just keyed that in, and we've now got a circle, I'm hoping, 35 millimetres. Let's just check. I'm going to check Analyze, Distance, and from the point out to the tan. End. That'll do. 17.5. Okay, so our diameter is 35. That'll do quite nicely. Okay, so we'll just make a series of other ones. So that's the outer side of the ring. That will be the inside of the lens face. There'll be another one just inside that. We'll click snap off now. Now all of these lines will be used at a later stage to build up the design. Okay, so it's already coming together reasonably well. One more. Right. Now we're going to have use the rectangle tool, the three point rectangle tool. Before you do that, I just want to run a line out, pick off perp, and there we go. I've got the ortho command, which is F6 on, so the lines are going to be straight. There we go. Now we're going to make the rectangle using the three-point rectangle command to get the body of the webcam. So I'm looking at it here and it's about yay big. That'll do nicely. Right. So next thing we'll do is go to the side view. So we'll just go to the right hand side. Okay. Actually I'll keep the other views open so you can see what's going on. So now I'm going to get a marker which will give me the heights of the various things. So the overall height of that, I'm saying, is about 25 millimetres. Probably less than that. Let's say 15. Okay. Then the overall height of the body, I'm again using the line command tool. I'm saying that will be about... Hmm, about eight. That'll be nicely. Okay. Okay, what we're going to try and do now is uh, continue on with uh, the next video. Uh, so what we've covered in this little uh, snippet is just setting up the construction lines that will uh, make the final 3D model as we go on to the future videos. Okay, good luck with that. Bye.